Hey guys, I'm Frequented World, March 1st, 2018. I'm trying to keep it down. It's a little bit late at night. Uh, I was surprised. I've been waiting for the new uh, Movie Studio 15 to come out from Magix. And I just did a search for it randomly and it came out. Um, I didn't get any email from these guys to upgrade or anything. So I've really been waiting for this because apparently this version will allow us to use our top end NVIDIA cards to speed up our video rendering process. You guys know I made a video on this a year and a half ago when 14, uh, version 14 came out and we were all sadly disappointed that there was no NVIDIA support. So um, I'm going to download it right now and uh, throw up some 4K video and do some testing to see our render times any faster and are they um, significantly faster? And we'll do some 1080 HD as well. And just compare it to version 14, which I still have uh, installed on the system. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what file we're using for this testing. And I've just selected a home movie that I had previously shot 4K footage, uh, drone footage. And it's this file here we're going to use. And this file is 612 megabytes. Um, it is... 2 minutes and 31 seconds long. There's your frame height and width showing that it is 4K. Your data rate and frame rate. And how we're going to test this is we're going to do a straight um, project with no effects. Take that 2 minute 31 second clip, throw it in a timeline and render it to various uh, movie uh, MP4, XAVCS, etc. and just test this times versus the new program uh, version 15. The second thing we're going to do is throw that same file in a timeline which will open here in 14 and I'll show you. We're going to split it into four sections and we're going to add effects which I have already done here. Here are the four sections that we've split it into and if we click on each one of these on the first one we've got magic bullet quick looks which is tinting it. The second one, we've got a mirror. In number three, we're using uh, the Ignite Fluid Distortion, so it's basically, it looks like a mosaic. So Ignite Picture in Picture, and I've just shrunk it down and moved it up into the top left corner, so it would have to re-render everything in that top portion. And those are the four effects that we're gonna render uh, in Video Studio 14 and do it again in Video Studio 15 and compare the times. Okay, so while rendering in uh, Vegas um, Movie Studio 14, we see that the program is using the video card so little that the fans actually shut off. It's not uh, using any horsepower from this video card at all. They're, the fans are running on minimum and then they're shutting off. Minimum and shutting off. So let's uh, see if we can get a little more power out of this with the new uh, Movie Studio 15 version. Okay, so we are rendering in Video Studio 15 and um, we have GPU acceleration on and the fan is running continuously on the video card but it's in super low mode, like it's hardly taxing the video card at all. The fans are running at like minimum speed. I'll show you guys the screen here. So uh, we are rendering with effects on. So I can hear the video card wanting to cut out like the fans are right on the edge of not needing to run. So they are spinning continually but it's uh, the RPM is very low. So normally I would uh, screen grab these for you guys but we don't want to run another recorder when we're doing tests uh, trying to maximize the CPU and GPU on the system so I'm just going to talk for a second uh, while we record the screen we're recording in Movie Studio 14 right now and what I've had to do is go in and manually make four splices in the video at a set frame um, so that the movies are the exact same I want the exact same amount of seconds for each of the four um, effects that we're using so that when we compare these videos there is no difference we're not running um, you know a, a fluid distortion for an extra 15 seconds versus a mirror for 12 seconds less or something like that we want them to be the exact same so I've gone ahead and done that manually 
and uh, let's take a look at the results. Okay guys, time to discuss results. I was up till three o'clock in the morning last night uh, running tests and uh, just finished rendering this morning and I gotta say I'm really disappointed. Not what I thought I was getting with this upgrade at all. So the first thing I tested was the proxies. When you bring in a 4K file, it has to make a proxy file in the background that you can use to edit that file. So I thought, well, let's time it. 4K import in Movie Studio 15. Uh, proxy file creation took one minute and 30 seconds. In Movie Studio 14, proxy import uh, creation file time took one minute and 35 seconds. So it was a little bit faster in Video Studio 15, but insignificant, okay? I, I don't know why I tested that. I just thought we're importing a file, let's test it. So the question I'm trying to answer is, is video rendering any faster in Video Studio 15? No settings that I could find were different. It was either GPU on or off. So what I did with the first test was I tested Video Studio 15 against itself by rendering that uh, two minute, 31 second clip with video uh, GPU acceleration off. And I got a time of 4.32. Um, and these are average times. I ran each of these tests three times and these are the average times that I got. So 4.32 with rendering off. With rendering on, we got a time of 4.08. So that's not too bad, 20 some seconds. Uh, it's not gonna save the world, but with video rendering on, we are getting, that's no effects, we are getting a little bit faster render time than without. Movie Studio 14 with uh, rendering on, GPU rendering on, we get a time of 4.06. So it's actually faster, v Video Studio 14 is rendering faster than Video Studio 15. The point is, it's not any faster. Video Studio 15 is not any faster. I should mention that those first tests were 4K rendered down to 1080 AVC uh, files, Sony AVC files, with effects. So we throw effects, those four effects on the timeline, and in Video Studio 15, it took seven minutes and 11 seconds to render that same file. In Movie Studio 14, it took seven minutes and 13 seconds. So it was two seconds slower in Video Studio 14. So again, there is no difference between these two programs. Now when we switch to XAVCS, Video Studio 14 rendered with no effects. Uh, it took eight minutes. Video Studio 14 took eight minutes and one second. Uh, 4K to 4K XAVCS 60p with effects. This is where it took you know, I thought the machine was going to do a little bit better. 26 minutes and 10 seconds in Video Studio 15. So to render a 2 minute and 31 second clip, 26 minutes with those four effects on there and 10 seconds. And now, Video Studio 14, we go back and do the same thing with effects, XAVCS, 4K to 4K, the exact same time, 26 minutes and 10 seconds. Now let's talk about I, I don't know what's going on here guys. I'm gonna look at the website and see what it says about performance because there is no performance increase. If you already own Video Studio 14, there's no reason to upgrade to Video Studio 15. I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna complain. And what I'd like you guys to do, if anyone out there has already bought this program or is silly enough to go ahead and do it after my testing, please verify my findings for me. Um, my machine is only a year old, uh, Ryzen 7, uh, 16 gigs of Corsair, DDR4 RAM, uh, and a Zotac GTX 1080. doesn't matter what my specs are, uh, because you're going to compare your machine to your machine. I want to know, does Video Studio 15 render any faster for you than 14? Because it certainly doesn't for me. So, thanks for watching guys, I gotta go fight magics.